guys you are all welcome back once more to my kitchen my name is Yvonne so in today's video we'll be making some hot cross buns hot cross buns are a little raw and rich bread perfect for you so if you want to know how I came about with this just join me in the kitchen and we get started here are the ingredients that you need for your hot cross buns Let's go ahead and mix the dry ingredients. In a large bowl, pour in two and a half cups of flour. And you add in a quarter cup of sugar. I'm using all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of yeast. This is quick rice yeast. Quarter teaspoon of salt and you add in a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and you add in some orange zest like you cut one orange and then you zest out half go ahead and you mix everything to thoroughly combine next you can now set it aside and you mix the wet ingredients. Add in to third cup of milk. This milk is lukewarm milk. Then you add in one egg. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Of flavor then you add in the butter this butter is soft alternatively you can dissolve the butter but because it is soft it can easily mix up so I'm not going to dissolve it three spoons of butter ahead and you mix it well you mix all the wet ingredients to thoroughly combine and you go ahead add in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients gradually and then you go ahead and you mix it You also need some raisins, so you need to steep the raisins with water, but I will just steep it with some of the orange juice. But when you steep it in what with water, make sure you dry the water off the raisins before you add it in the dough. You can add in like two spoons of orange juice. Meanwhile, you go ahead and transfer the dough on a clean surface where you will need it. Kneading the dough from the beginning will be a little bit sticky, but just be patient, but you can go ahead and add in some dry flour. So I'll knead it for a while before I add a little bit of flour. I just want to be sure that the texture is the way I want it because when you make the dough strong, it will give you hard buns but when you make it soft the dough will also give you soft buns I'll just sprinkle a little bit of flour this is one spoon and I knead it you have to knead it for about six minutes so you just have to be patient when you and kneading the dough because you want to achieve that nice consistency that will give you good cross bones. Go ahead and add in a little bit of oil like one spoon in another bowl. This is just to grease the pan because we are going to add in the dough in this pan and allow it 
for about an hour until it doubles in size. So you just go ahead and you add the dough, add in our dough. This is just to make sure that it doesn't stick in the pan when we want to take it out. You cover it and allow it to rest for one hour. One hour later, you check the dough. The dough has doubled in size. So go ahead and punch it a little bit so that the gas can escape. Go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour again on a flat surface. And then you place your dough and you knead it more. Next, go ahead and you flatten the dough. And at this point, you add in the raisins. And when you add the raisins, make sure you just like fold them in well so that they will evenly distribute in the dough. It's going to be a little bit technical here, but I know you can do it. <laughs> I know you can. So just gradually fold it, top the resins in the dough. Now that the dough is well mixed, you can go ahead and cut it into equal size, into halves. You can either just eyeball it or you can measure it with maybe a scale if you have it. And you go ahead and subdivide it into little halves. This is what you roll up to form the bonds. Go ahead and you tuck it into the center and you roll each piece of dough into a small round ball. And you go ahead and place them on a parchment line baking tray or non-sticky baking tray. When you finish to round the dough, you cover it again and allow it for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes later, you check it. Meanwhile, you also mix about two or three spoons of flour with some milk. And with this, you will use to form the cross on the buns. So the consistency should be like so, not too runny. Because if it is too runny, it will be difficult for us to work with it. Next, you pour the mixture into a piping bag. And you go ahead and you press the piping bag a little bit so that it will push down the mixture. And you will have to cut the edge of the piping bag. And you use it to form the cross on the bones and so the name cross bones. Go ahead and pipe out the mixture horizontally and vertically on the bones and that will form the cross. Friends, this process looks like a little long, but when you try it out, you will really enjoy the buns. They are so, so delicious. I'm not so professional in forming the cross, but I know you can do more than this. <laughs> now they are ready to go into the oven. So you bake it for 375 degrees for 10 minutes and then you can regulate the heat to 350 for and bake it more for 15 minutes and after that you will get this golden brown hot cross buns you can then go ahead and transfer the buns on a cooling rack and to get that bakery signature 
hot cross bun style you can just glaze the top with some syrup or light apricot jam this does not only give that beautiful nice glaze but it also gives some good flavor to our buns if you are enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so that you can be part of my family and when you do subscribe please turn on the notification bell so that you can always be notified of my new uploads and you can see how soft and fluffy our hot cross buns are Yes, yeah, so delicious and have some fruity flavor. These fluffy homemade hot cross buns are the best. I hope you love the recipe. I hope you try it and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Please share the video for sharing is caring. Mm, so let me just taste some. Mm. it really tastes so good please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so that you can be part of my family and remember I got your back thanks again for watching see you next time bye y'all